I've worked with young mums a lot and I have a lot of friends that are young mums and I've never met that stereotypical young mum that is portrayed in the media or portrayed in sort of society. The sort of trials and tribulations that you have to go through as a young mother are really difficult. I think in terms of sort of housing and money and relationships, it can be really, really hard. Society sort of gives them this bad name of that and, and makes them feel like they're doing really, a really rubbish job. When in fact, if you look at everything that's going on in somebody's life, it's, it's so much more than the average person, but they're dealing with it. And, and they might not be dealing with it to the, to the like in a perfect world, but then nor a 20, 30, 40, 50 year old mothers, but they're just not reported on. I think um, my first thought was just kind of numbness, really. I'd been to this um, kind of life centre, it was called, to, because they did free pregnancy tests, and they basically just um, told me I was pregnant, um, gave me pro-life leaflet and said, are you keeping it? And I just said, uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of thing. The first reaction, when I laughed. I actually laughed. Um, I think it was fear as, but it was more like, um, what is, what's my mum going to say? What my family going to say? More so than, oh my gosh, like I'm going to have to look after a child. It was like, oh my gosh, what are people going to say about it? I can't say um, abortion wasn't an option because I have had that in, um, in my past. But something just was telling me not to do it and to go ahead with it. And even when everybody found out, I had my mom and my aunt and everybody sitting around me trying to tell me to have an abortion and I just couldn't do it. I don't know if it was God or if it was just my gut feeling but something was telling me to carry on with the pregnancy. One of my friends kind of sat me and Aaron down and kind of said well you can't keep it that's just not an option and you can't give it up for adoption because adoption is terrible so the only option is to get rid of the baby. For me was a real kind of actually thinking could I do that and you know Aaron was saying well you're not even thinking about it you're not even willing to consider that option so I kind of just really tried to kind of go could I do it could I do it and then um, I just knew that for me I couldn't I would not be able to do that. Um, yeah I was at college at the time um, and I remember just I didn't want to tell anyone I was pregnant because I'd always know the reaction so it was always like uh, oh poor you there was never any kind of congratulations or anything so I was kind of put off telling people as long as I could because it was like telling people there'd been an awful accident or I've never associated kind of having my son with being pregnant so it felt very different being pregnant it didn't feel like I had a, a baby inside me it just felt like there was something there that kind of everyone was disapproving of. And I was really quite surprised by this, that, that people would be so kind of disapproving of me. Um, because as far as I was concerned, I was an adult. And I had done all my exams, and I had done everything that I was supposed to do. And I was gonna go to university at some point as well. I knew that everything was gonna be the same as it always was going to be. I thought it wouldn't be a big deal. This was like 1998, so I thought, not a big deal and then I found that it really was a big deal. When you're first um, pregnant you have to go to the doctor and they and they retest you and, and they put you into the system. You know I saw my referral letter it said unfortunately Lucy is pregnant and it's like you know would, would he have written that if I'd been 25, 35? No, of course he wouldn't. That was like the first time I realised that society was, um, you know, going. You know, it's going to be more of a of a battle than I thought. I was very young, and I was I was from a very middle class, leafy part of Cheshire. Um, up until a few years before then, I'd been straight A student. My friend's parents, I remember bumping into one or two of them whilst walking around, and they very much kind of looked at me like, "That's it, you've ruined your life now." and and they kind of really did look down on me and sort of wrote me off from that point. I was a young girl who nobody in their wildest of imaginations would have thought would have got pregnant. 
as much as there was reactions from the community in terms of like horror and embarrassment and shame, my mum was stalwart in her support of me. She was the catalyst in terms of what could have been a nightmare situation actually becoming something that was quite, it was quite a beautiful experience. When I got pregnant, he didn't mind, and then one day he changed, and then one day he was fine, and then one day he wasn't fine. I, I used to like try and get his attention by like being spiteful and stuff to him because I just felt like, how can you like do this? How can you leave me? And I'm here working like Monday to Friday, including Saturdays, and no one's here. And these times, my dad wasn't talking to me anymore, and I just thought, wow. Like, is this what life is? Like, is this what it is? So, I'm, like, I don't think I wish my pregnancy or my relationship with Destiny's dad on anyone. Like, it's not a nice experience, especially because pregnancy is meant to be beautiful. But I, I just had to keep doing what I had to do and get on with it. Being a mother doesn't mean you stop. You don't stop living. You don't stop dreaming. You don't stop striving. I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for other young mums that I befriended and we shared childcare duties so that we could go out and do our courses and go out and do our little part-time job and whatever and surround yourself with people that will build you up and encourage you because you don't have to look too far for people that will put you down. I remember when I first found out and I was really nervous, I didn't tell many people um, but I did tell somebody from work and she said you are going to be scared, you are going to be nervous, but there is nothing, there is nothing better than that first moment when you hold that child in your arms and nothing will replace that and you know, you'll be fine and that, that stuck with me and I just thought, yeah, okay, yeah, I can do this and I am capable of doing this. It changed me a lot, I've kind of, I went from being a teenager to me a child um, to just really having to snap out of that and understand that I'm now going to be a mother and I'm a, I'm a woman. And just really appreciating other women, like understanding that this is what other women have gone through. When I was in school I wasn't very confident, but as soon as I was pregnant and especially after I had Luke, I became sort of really confident in my own decisions, really confident in myself and yeah, I think I became a lot more of an adult taking responsibility for what I was doing, taking responsibility for my future, which is not something that I'd ever done before I got pregnant. Even though, you know, the, he'll have that stigma of he's come from a young single mom. Um, I, want, I want him to know that, you know, he doesn't need to be whatever everybody labels him to be, and especially him being a black boy as well. I, had to, I have to make sure that I raise him in a way that he's not deemed by society as being a problem. I think there's de definitely a political agenda to demonise young mothers, um, so that's got to have a massive impact. That, that kind of disparagingness, I think, um, and, and totally uncompassionate, and also no appreciation of how wonderful it can be either, so there's kind of a, oh, I'm really sorry for you, they can almost sympathy with the the fact that that's somebody's life and if we could be more celebratory and more compassionate perhaps actually we would enable and empower um, young women to see that they can be good parents because you know there's this self-fulfilling prophecy type thing I guess isn't there of if we say somebody's going to be rubbish or something they're more likely to be rubbish at it so yeah.